I know that so many of you have ordered these square hair bands. You wear them all the time yourself. You, you give them as gifts. And I, I just wanted to remind those of you who are new to my channel about the square hair bands. They are, if you're not familiar with them, they are like sunglasses. They open and close. It's just like having sunglasses on your head, keeping your hair out of your eyes. When you walk in a building, how many times do we push those sunglasses back up on our head? They have these little gripper teeth here. They have padded, a little bit of rubbery, I guess, uh, where ear pieces where they go over your ears, but I love these. They come in so many colors, and... I, 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 you know, I wear them all the time. Oh, my hair. We'll see if we can put it up, do something about it a little bit later. But, but today I thought I would answer some of your questions. You, I tell you, you are so kind. You guys are just the best. That, the video I did last week with HSN, I have had the best response from that video. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. But I do, I have my phone. If that's okay with you, we're just going to sit and talk and I'm going to answer some questions. And, you know, I just shot my stash today and picked up uh, some drugstore, some high end. We're going to start off. I'm stopping the video because I want to let you know that I hope you'll stay to the end. One of the products that I'm using in this video it's amazing what it's doing to make my wrinkles on my face less noticeable. And you can really tell it toward the end of the video when I show some really good close-ups of my skin. You won't believe it. It's been around forever. I've rediscovered it, and I'm loving it with a question that really is not related to the last video for sure. But this, uh, she says, uh, I finally bought the Kiss Nails you like. Well, I don't have them on today, but we're going to talk about that. But I guess I'm not strong enough to try them. I can't get the glue open. Any hints? Oh, how to get the glue open. I, I don't know if you're talking about screwing off the top or getting the glue to come out of the tube. I've never had an issue in all the years I've been wearing those Kiss Nails. I've never had an issue of getting the top unscrewed. But you do have to puncture the tube, the nozzle, with a straight pin, a safety pin. A lot of times I just take a pair of scissors and just snip it off right at the very tip to make sure I'm getting just a little bit of glue out at a time. So I'm hoping that's what you're talking about. If any of you have any ideas for for taking the top off of that glue, uh, I wasn't expecting that question to come up first, so I didn't bring a tube in here with me. But yeah, gosh, hmm, okay. Uh, okay, let's, oh, Right off the bat, I have rediscovered a product that I used years ago, and I saw it, I saw it, oh, about two or three weeks ago, I guess, when I was looking on Amazon for something else, and I thought, oh my gosh, I know I have some of that. I used to use it a lot. This is comparable to, uh, it's a primer, and I rarely wear primers, but it is a primer. And let me just tell you, it's the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, and it looks just like that. And it's a dupe, I guess, for, oh gosh, it may be Too Faced or Tarte, maybe Tarte. I'll, I'll put it across here. I own it, and I, I do use it from time to time. And 
I, want, I much prefer this one. I did order this because I couldn't find mine. I probably threw it away when I was uh, purging at some point in time, but, or it even could have been from the move almost three years ago. Oh my gosh, has it been that long since I've used it? But anyway, I, I ordered it. It was very inexpensive on Amazon. I want to say maybe $10. Uh, I'll, I will link this because I'm going to tell you, when I got this in, I, I started using it, not every day, but a lot of days, and immediately I remembered why I liked it so much. And again, going back to the tart, I'm almost positive it was tart, but I, I did have that, and I got it out, and the tart is really thick. And I, and I remember now, that's why I like this one better back then. But it's really thick, and this one is not real thin, but it's just the perfect consistency for me. And I'm, let, let me show you where, where I use it. I just don't have big pores. I never have, so I don't have that going on in my life. But I just scoop a little out with the back of my fingernail. And I do that because, you know what, I'm the only person who's ever going to use this. And you can see, and that's probably too much. You want, I've, I have found for me that the less I use, the better I like it. Let me get a mirror here. And let me show you where I use it. Uh, I use it in my circles that go under my eyes and where my face is caving in right here and I'll try to pull the camera in real close so that you can see this. It's not as bad on this side. Never smoked a cigarette in my life but I do use a straw and have for many years knowing that I would get the lip lines from it just like I would if I smoked except that my lungs probably aren't suffering from it, from drinking out of the straws. So I will use it around my lips. So let's, I have just a little, whoops, I have just a little bit you can see that I, there's the rest of it. And I'm gonna, what I have learned with this is if I use too much, it will pill. And that's not fun. And I've learned if I pat it, I, you know, I can pull it out like that or even swipe like that. But if I go back in and pat it, and I'm getting in those crow's feet too, this is not going to completely do away with these lines and all this that's going on with my face, but it will soften it. So let's get over here. I don't use this all over my face. Let me get a little bit more for my lips. Just put it on my thumb or finger there. Have any of you used this? I, I'm going to tell you something. I, oops. <laughs> I sort of suspect, I'm going to put it in these marionette lines too. I sort of suspect that this has been discontinued. When it came in, it was in a ratty looking box. I mean, it was, it looked like it had been beat up, but it was in the box and it was, the box was sealed. So that was good. I can't remember what I paid for it back in the day. I'm doing a little bit more here. I can really. I can really see my lip lines disappearing. And I'm 
get just a tiny little bit more. And, you know, my lower lip has lost all of its definition, like my uppers. Our lips turn in as we age. So that's that's all I'm going to use. I'm going to tell you, after I used this a few times, I went back on Amazon and I ordered two more of these so that I would have a backup. Uh, because I have, a, as I said, I'm pretty sure it's probably been discontinued. And I know I will at least have that. And we're going to just let that sit for a minute uh, and simmer. I do want to tell you about something new that I tried this morning for the very first time. It's body makeup. And I've talked about body makeup before. I have been using the Sally Hansen leg makeup for as long as I can remember on my arms and on my legs and on my chest uh, when I have not been in the sun and don't have any color, real color, and those parts of my body are exposed. And I've always been real pleased with it. I Real pleased. And I apply it with a great big fat brush. And again, I have videos where I've talked about that. But I had been seeing the Westmore Beauty Lasting Effects Body Coverage Perfector Illuminator Plus Camouflage. This was on a I believe it was QVC, and it came in two, I know at least two shades, maybe more, and I did not know which shade I really wanted because I don't want to be just super dark. And, and again, as soon as I'm able to go to the beach and really get out in the sun, I will get some sun and I won't need this at all, but until then, I thought I would at least try this. So I ordered two, knowing that I would send one of them back. I ordered the Natural Radiance, which is this one. You can't tell by the packaging, but or the tube. And I ordered Golden Radiance. And you put this on different than you do the Sally Hansen. And supposedly, if you use it right, it will stay on for two or three days. It doesn't come off when you bathe or shower. As long as you do not use any products that have oil in them. And I did a little research uh, before trying this this morning. And basically what I've, some of the products, and I already have them, Dove Body Soap the origin and I'm talking about the bar soap I don't know about the liquid but the bar soap does not have oil in it also I think it's Avita is it Avita does not have oil in it and if you know of any other lotions or soaps to wash my body with that doesn't have oil in them let me let me know in the comments and let others know too because I might want to switch to that when I'm wearing this. So what I did this morning, I followed the instructions and I used one on one arm and one on the other arm. And I think you can see the difference. So let me tell you the instructions. They send instructions. First of all, it says to prep your skin Start with dry, exfoliated, and oil-free skin. You can exfoliate dry skin by gently rubbing with a towel. Well, I thought, you know, I could do that, but my towels, I use fabric softener most of the time, and or dryer sheets, and they're just soft. You know, they're, I, I just didn't feel like they were rough enough to exfoliate. So I found this. And this is just a body, like a back scratcher or body that you can do in the shower or in the tub. I've had this forever. I don't know where I got it. It's called, it says Daily Spa 
renewals, but it's really scratchy. It's really rough. And so what I did is I took this this morning and I literally, I only did my arms up to my shoulders and I scrubbed every inch of my arms with this just, and then just sort of dusted them off. And <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so the second step is to massage body coverage perfecter onto your arms, legs, chest, or anywhere your body needs perfecting using an upward and outward motion. Completely cover the desired area with a sufficient layer of product, allowing, t allowing 10 minutes for it to dry. Add more layers for additional coverage, allowing 10 minutes for each layer to dry. After applying, wash hands with soap and water. Well, I did not use my hands. But what I used, because I used the Sally Hansen brush with, uh, I, had a, I have a brush that I use with Sally Hansen, and I rarely wash that thing, so it has Sally Hansen all in it. I wanted to do something that was, if I was going to look at this product and decide, because it is a little bit on the pricey side, but you use so little. Uh, I thought I would just order a brush, and I went on Amazon again, and I found this. It even has its own little case. And it was, I think, about $10. But it's, I think you could use any flat top brush. But I wanted a brush that I could just devote to this in case I really like it and want to keep it. So basically what I did is I just took the tube. And, and by the way, this arm with my watch on it is the arm that I did in the lighter of the two colors. And I just just squeeze a little all up and down like this just not a lot just you know it squeezes out in a tiny little thin um, stream and I took my brush and and I did my lighter arm first and I just went what did what it said in just like this getting in between my fingers down I, on the Sally Hansen what I do is I take the brush and I get like this and get my knuckles and then I get between my fingers and do this all the way up and all around. So that's what I did. Then I uh, did the same thing on my other arm using the darker of the two shades. Then what you do, you wait for 10 minutes. And I set my timer on my phone and I did my skincare. So, it, and that took about 10 minutes. Number three says to buff and dry. Remove excess by patting the coverage area with a washcloth or paper towel. Then buff in an upward and outward motion until product no longer comes off. Allow another 10 minutes for product to fully set before coming into contact with clothing or bed sheets. So that's what I did. I took a paper towel and did exactly that. I just sort of buffed it and wiped it off. It was completely dry on me in 10 minutes, I will say. So I did that, and I waited really about another 10 minutes, and I got dressed. And I wore this white shirt on purpose today just to see if the arms, if it rubbed off on the arms. And I have had this on now at least 30 or 40 minutes, and there is nothing, I mean nothing, oops, and let me show you, I, let me take, this is just a white tissue, and I'm just gonna, again, this is the lighter of the two arms. There's nothing there. I'm going to turn this over. Do the other one. Well, okay. I can see just a little bit there. I'm rubbing pretty hard. So, what I thought we would do is I'll wait until the video is over. We'll do some buffing again and see if we can get any off. Maybe this arm that's darker. And let me show you. I really can't tell that much of a difference in the color. Now, you can use multiple layers. I only used one layer.
one application. And by the way, everything that I'm showing you today will be listed underneath, including the colors that I'm wearing. I will list it and link it, and then I will pin it, which means it will be the very first comment under this video. So if you still don't know where to go to find the products I'm talking about linked, just look at that first comment. City Lips. I'm loving this. We'll put that on to get started. This is awfully nice, and there's no name uh, to this comment, but it's one of those user names and no picture, but it says, some people forget that beauty is for everyone to enjoy. Makeup may not hide every sign of age, but it can be something one can enjoy. And I, Thank you, thank you, hallelujah. Uh, you know, it's not for everyone, but I, I'm assuming that if you watch my channel, you love makeup. Okay, if you'll remember from the last video, uh, I tried this. Well, it was it was the Skin Foundation, the his newest one, and that when HSN sent it to me, they sent the wrong shade. It was way too light for me, and I was able to work with it. But and I mentioned in the video that um, I had ordered the wrong shade. And would you believe after that video, I heard from HSN and they told me that they would send me another one for my use and just to tell them which shade I wanted. So I looked at the shades again and came up with Cool Beige. And that's, I'm gonna go ahead and try this today. There is a definite difference with this. So I'm gonna move my mirror in a little bit closer so that I can see. It's the big doe foot. I tell you, I think this foundation, it's its not an expensive, it's not as, ex, as expensive as some, but it's certainly not drugstore foundation. And, but it covers, I mean, it really covers, Covers everything and I've got some pretty bad stuff going on on my face and it it just covers I do I'm doing sort of a jabbing swiping jabbing I, I don't want to move around this So I'm trying to be mindful of where I put that. I have even put that down on these neck rings. But this foundation is still not as probably, it, it's not going to be good for me in another probably month when I really do start to get some sun. Let me look here. Pretty good. Although, just a little bit more. I think I mentioned in that last video too that this foundation dries down really fast, which is something that I really like. You know, I have a really big sunspot right there. It's gone. I've been getting oh I've been getting a lot of questions too about brushes and I use a lot of different brushes. I'm very fortunate in that I've had brush companies send me brushes and, but I had a ton of brushes even before that. And I, you know, I'm just not a brush snob. 
if it works for me, I don't care what brand it is, I use it. This is an old It Cosmetics, and I grabbed it because it was clean. I need to do some brush washing or brush cleaning. And I've listed those brushes that I've been sent down below if you want to go check them out. But I have some other brushes that I like also. Drugstore brushes like the e.l.f. brushes. Uh, there's a couple of Revolution brushes that I really like, Makeup Revolution. But I will list some of those brushes down below too if you're looking for some that aren't quite so pricey. You know, these brushes all have numbers on them and I have no idea what the numbers mean. The numbers mean nothing to me. I just look at it and figure out how I can use it on me. Okay, we're gonna do that and let that go for a little while. Pretty sure that the day this video goes up will be Easter Sunday, so happy Easter. If you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. I think we are finally ready to have some, a little stretch of at least 70 degree weather during the day and not, uh, not rain and really cold nights. Oh my gosh. You know, I know that there's so many of you who have been wearing makeup as long as I have. You're, that's not good. Uh, you know, as soon as you were out on your own and you're, you could, you did. And I think our superpower, our secret is that over the years, We've gotten to know our faces. We've done it so much that we know pretty much what works and doesn't work based on our faces. And that's a good thing, I think. Because our fa not, none of us are exactly the same. Maybe identical twins or triplets but we're just not the same. And so I've always said this, what, what uh, works for me may not work for you, whether it's the product or the application, the technique. It's, it's, you know, we're, we're all different. We're lucky, some of us, that a lot of things do work, colors and whatnot, but for so many of us, no. All right, we're gonna let that go. Ooh, we need to do something. I think I'm going to use mascara now, and I tell you what, I'm gonna, Make sure there's no anything oily from my skincare on my lashes. I'm looking over here in my little monitor 
if you see me looking over that way. But putting on my makeup for me is just second nature. And by the way, this is the uh, Benefit, I think. They're real. Yeah, the Benefit, they're real that I showed you last week in that HSN, this little trial size. I've been using this because I want to go ahead and get it used up. But boy, oh boy. Do I like my lashes with this on? If you've watched me, you know that sometimes I start mascara on my tips and then work my way down. Sometimes I don't. I don't have one mascara that I just swear by. And that comes from knowing my face, knowing how to work with things. I'm not trained. There are so many trained makeup artists here on YouTube who are wonderful. And there are some who really do gr really good work with women, especially older women, and especially older women who, for whatever reason, are deciding to finally start using makeup. I, I just think that's awesome. And yeah, look at those, look at those lashes, two coats. Okay, brows, I'm gonna do my e.l.f. $3. This is the fat, well, this is the fat lid, not that super skinny one. Just mainly drew a little line on the underneath of my brow and then brush the color up into my lashes. Since I started powdering my brows, and I haven't been doing that very long, it just came to me one day to do that, but since I've been doing that, I noticed that my brows stay on longer. Brows make a difference. But like I said, I I think I'm not I am not the expert, but I definitely know my face. And I've been able over the years to as I my skin sags and as I get wrinkles, I'm I'm able to adjust to it. Mm, okay. That's good and dry. Let's use this e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick. And this color is bronzed cherry. I think I got this off of uh, Amazon. I've looked for these so many places when I've seen them used, and I can never find them in the stores, but I found them on Amazon. It'll be linked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do something about my jawline. You know, I'm sagging here, and of course my neck. So I'm gonna go, I'm not, I'm gonna go under it. And this is something I've learned through trial and error, is I'm gonna go under. Let me close that up. And I'm going to use my same brush and sort of brush upward and down. And for me, what that does is it sort of shadows un under my chin here and really, really, really blend it. out and then I just feather it and 
and sometimes I'll even just give myself a little color with what's on my brush. And I'm looking in my monitor and I can see that this looks a little bit dark, but I think that's going to be okay. Uh, let's do blush. And this is uh, Wet n Wild. And again, I got this on Amazon because it was never in any of my stores that I go to. But this is the Mega Glow Blush Say It Ain't Rose. Same brush. And I am really pressing it. So there was a comment uh, from one of you on this last, this HSN video, uh, where I was putting my blush too high. And to be really honest with you, uh, if I were much younger, I would say you're right. But what happens as we age is typically we smile and we put our blush right here, which is where we've been taught or thought. But what happens when you put it here and then when you have a resting face, it's all of a sudden down here. So it goes higher for me. If you want to put yours lower, you put it lower. girlfriends. I'm going to do concealer while I tell you something else that I have been using that I actually think I'm loving. Uh, shape tape that I used last week in that video. Oh, that's the glow wand. I don't want that. This is the shape tape. And light medium sand is the color. But I'm 80 and a half and I did a video this past year I can't remember exactly when about what I call the ugly bruises that we get some of us as we age most of us that we get them when we bang something some of us are on blood thinners and it's my understanding when you're on a blood thinner, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just going to happen. But for those of us who aren't on blood thinners and who were sun worshipers back in the day, we our skin is just so thin on our arms and legs, especially on our shins, that remember, I'm patting this because I put that primer uh, but we, our skin, we had so much sun damage that our skin has lost collagen and it's just so thin. And I mean, I'm telling you, I can just barely hit my arm, say, or bump into a shopping cart with my, my shin. And I can guarantee you, I'm going to have one of those ugly bruises and they are so ugly and it seems like it just takes forever for them to go away. So I decided, and as I'm old, getting older, this hair is thinning. And what else? Well, my nails are okay. I mean, I've always had good nails, but I've also, most of my adult life, have worn acrylics. And... And so I take them off and I have to go through a process. I mean, my nails are just strong. I've never had any damage from wearing the fake nails, let me say that. Back in the late fall, uh, 
some friends came down from Memphis and, for a visit, and uh, we, my, the wife uh, of the couple, and I went to get our nails done. I was just going to get a pedicure, uh, but she wore the dip nails, and you'll remember me having those dip nails put on, and I've been wearing them. And I finally decided I didn't want to wear them anymore. And in the meantime, uh, I started taking this supplement. Mainly, I was taking it for my hair, to be honest with you, because my hair was just, I don't know, it was, it was thinning. It was definitely thinning. So I thought I would just try it. And what it is, and is the, again, it's from HSN. HSN is not sponsoring this video at all. They didn't send me this, but this is the Andrew Lessman Healthy Hair, Skin, and Nails. This is the big bottle, 600. Uh, you take two a day. He says you can take one or two or more. I've been taking two. And I wrote on the bottle when I started taking them. So it was one nine of 24. So basically, I've been on them. I've been on them, so almost three months. And let me tell you, I think I can see new growth coming in, little hairs growing. But, I, and I think that my nails are getting stronger. These are my nails, nothing on them. I have two coats of the nail polish, and I'll list that color because I know some of you are going to want to know. But, you know what, they're, usually I go through that splitting, breaking stage, and they're really not. I mean, I'm, I'm, I may break down and have nails put back on. I don't know. But I think my nails are better. But it occurred to me a week or so ago that I can't remember the last time I got one of those ugly bruises on my arms and legs. When I saw this hair, skin, and nails, what I thought when I saw skin, I was thinking about my face. You know, that's the vein, Patty. I was thinking about my face. I can't tell any difference in my face. But maybe skin means my arms and my legs. It's helping me not to get that bruising. I, I, this is so highly reviewed on HSN. Number one on HSN, you cannot review a product unless you've purchased it from them. And I want to say there's something, I may be wrong on this, but for some reason I'm thinking there may be 4,000 reviews and it's four and a half stars if i'm wrong on that i'll correct it here i'll ch i'll recheck it and i'll do an annotation here but they're small i'll show you it's not a not a not a big capsule to take so easy to swallow easy to swallow i'm liking it I'm, I'm really liking them. I'm going to keep taking them. I've sort of have this little habit of uh, just when I get up and I make my little cup of coffee every morning, I get it out then to take. I'm going back to this NYX eyeliner and get the bottoms. And I think I brought this in here, the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. You know, I told you last week in that video that I I just don't use highlighters. But I sort of like this. I've been using it. Just a little. Whoa. Went down a little too low. will play. Let me wipe the city lips off. And I have been using, this is something I didn't realize because when I used these products in that video last week, this was my first 
time to use all of the ones that HSN, HSN sent me for the video. So this is the uh, Tarte Maracucha Juicy Lip Liner. And I don't know what color this is. I'll list it. And so I used this lip liner and I covered my whole lips. And would you believe, I mean, I ate lunch. I filmed that in the morning. I ate lunch, I ate dinner, and this this was still on my lips that night. I can't, I can't believe it. So uh, I've been using this pretty much every day. It's a good color. I'm perspiring. I'm not doing this, showing you up close so much to show you anything about this as I am what this Magic Perfecting Base by L'Oreal has done to my lines. I like it. And this is, uh, I think, the same lipstick that I used, the Tarte Maracucha Juicy Lipstick. I can't read it. I'll I'll list it. Let's look at my arms. I'm going to get a fresh tissue. Fold it up and I'm just I'm going to do here. There's nothing. Okay, back side of it. Get the bracelets down. If there's anything there, it's just so faint. Uh, it's not noticeable. Now, the real test, too, I think is going to be how it does if it washes off when I take a shower or a bath, probably a bath. I need a little bit more color. The earrings I'm wearing are, I've had them for a long time, they're Swarovski. I don't know if they're still available. I'll look on their website and see if they are. I used to wear these. You, you've seen them. Those of you who have been around, I used to live in these earrings. But, okay. I think some of you are going to say, leave your hair down, Patty. But, you know what? I think I'm going to put it up. My square hair band. Don't forget to go check on these. I tell you, if you, if you want to, if you like to dress up for, uh, like the Memorial Day, the 4th of July, Labor Day, if you like to be patriotic. She has the cutest square hair band in the red, white, and blue. And she has a lot of new colors. So even if you've been there before and bought them and loved them, but you haven't been back on the website in a while, go look. Just go look and see all of the new colors that she has. And... I'm still liking my hair being gray and or salt, sort of salt and pepper. But what, well, I'm sitting back too far here, okay. What I do is I pull this top part up and hold on to it. The back part is hanging. And then I get my hand under there and grab that part that's on the bottom and I wrap it around. And then, and then I take the clipper, the clip, and just grab it. I never know what it's gonna look 
like back there, but you know what? That's it. I pulled out this morning one of my buns and I don't have one that really comes anywhere close. It's not even, I, I, I need to order a new one that that is more salt pepper. Usually those buns just blend really well in with my hair or any of us if we get anywhere close. But I tried, I had one that was, and I think it was the Juva bun, but it was real platinum-y and really didn't have any other colors in it. And I think that would work well if it had some dark in it. And I may take that and play around with it and take some darker eyeshadow and sort of streak it with the eyeshadow and see if it would will blend in with my hair and then I can use that. I've been thinking about getting a ponytail too that I can clip on for something different. Living in, in Florida in the summertime, it is hot. I'm just not gonna wear my hair down. So it is what it is. All right, I think, I think that's it. Again, thank all of you for all of your kindness last week in that video. I, I just, you're the best. You're the best. My viewers, my subscribers are the best. There, there's just no ifs, ands, and buts about it. You're the best, and I thank you. I'm, I'm just so appreciative of your kindness. I hope you'll be kind to yourself today. And remember to make someone else's day too by being kind to them. Just pick a total stranger. You can do it. Know that I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, the initial bubble, initial pendant, you know, Initials are so trendy right now, aren't they? I saw this on Melissa55 in a video uh, a few weeks ago, and I said, where'd you get it, Melissa? Because she didn't mention it. And she said, Amazon, and sent me a link, and I clicked on that link, and in a couple of days, it was on my neck, and I love it. i tell you how much I liked it. I immediately ordered one for my sister and sent it to her, and a B for Brenda. So, yes. Thank you from thank you Melissa.